Welcome to this short video introducing the TerraVM Cybersecurity Database UI. This is delivered as part of the 12.1 GA. The key takeaways of the TerraVM CSDB is the portability and ease of sharing the threat database with multiple of users. With TerraVM, you can mix the good with the bad and indeed add your own threats. With constant and regular updates, this ensures users of TerraVM that they deliver the most robust and security hardened solution. So for the remainder of the video, we'll look at the features of the CSDB UI. So let's log into the TerraVM controller. The CSDB threat library is delivered as part of the centralized test library on our executive VM. So the user simply checks out that use case from the library. In it, there's a number of pre-populated tabs, so enabling ease of use for the user. So essentially for the user, all they have to do is select the threats they would like to validate against the security perimeter. Some of the features of the threat selection tab are the ability to nominate which filters to filter the database. So the database consists of 11,600 plus unique threats. Again, the user can select from the publicly published databases. So here you see those at the bottom. Or indeed can look at it from a CBE or a CBS perspective. For example, here we can select to choose the CBS score and run our test strategy from there in order to validate our security appliance. So in this example here, let's, let's take the scenario we would like to validate a content management system such as Joomla and understand that the security perimeter is going to block all those set types. So in the filter, we can simply select Joomla, or indeed any other application such as Excel or Photoshop. It's all depending on how the user would like to define their test strategy. Once you have your filter selected, you can then look at the threat attack type. So with this, you can have a sequential or concurrent. And the idea being that you can actually load the security perimeter with all the threats at once, or indeed a sequential where you want to understand and look at each threat uniquely from the security perimeter's perspective. The network configuration is essentially how we connect through to the security perimeter. So once we have our threat scenario selected, we can execute on that test case. In the dedicated performance window, CSDB here, we can see a number of things. We can see the threats that we have selected. We can see the total number of threats here in the summary at the top. Indeed, we get a running status of each threat and whether they pass or fail. So the idea here is that each of the unique threats and TerraVM's per flow architecture allows us to quickly filter out which threats have managed to get through our security perimeter, enabling us to quickly adjust the security device or perimeter to block those threat types. So the test is completed. We can see that there is a 100% pass rate. That is, our security perimeter has successfully blocked all of these unique threats for Joomla. Again, a user can quickly go back and adjust the test case, allowing them to create a number of test scenarios. More importantly, they can share and save those parameters, allowing the work to be easily shared to other users of the TerraVM. Thanks for watching.